The family of a man who died in the same plane crash that also killed R&B singer Aaliyah is taking legal action. The relatives of Aaliyah's bodyguard filed a lawsuit today against Virgin Records and a charter airline. Eight people died when the plane crashed in the Bahamas last year. More Tragedy in the Bahamas, an airplane carrying a rising star and her entourage plunging into the marsh. Well, now, relatives of a South Florida victim say it should have never happened. Investigators ruling the plane carrying Aaliyah and eight others was, in fact, too heavy to fly. T tonight, one victim's family is taking action, and 7 News reporter Sharon Melton explains. I, mean, I'm, I lost my best friend in the world, my father, and uh, I don't know. Can't explain it. 15 year old Lyle Gallion remembering his father as the loving man he was. A man killed in a tragic plane crash. Now he's taking Virgin Records to court for his father's untimely death. It's our position that this was a totally avoidable accident. Lyle's father, Scott Gallion, was a bodyguard for RB singer Aaliyah. He, along with the superstar and seven others, were killed in the Bahamas back in August when their plane crashed after takeoff. Aaliyah had been filming a video just hours before the crash. Reports showed the Cessna was overloaded, leading to that crash. Now on this day, Lyle's mother filing the lawsuit in her son's behalf, claiming fault with the pilot, the owners of the aircraft, and Virgin Records. The reason why Virgin Records is being sued behind all of this is because, according to Lyle and his attorney, they say Virgin didn't check out the charter company, and they feel they're negligent behind the loss of his father. This is a business trip. This is a business venture. On behalf of a company, yes, they're responsible under, under Florida law. What do they want? We're going to be asking for a portion of the company. What will you remember the most about him? His heart. Yeah, a wonderful heart. For Lyle, the loss of his father at times is overwhelming. As a man who guarded the lives of such stars as Sylvester Stallone and Madonna, Lyle feels he didn't just lose his idol, but so much more. I just hate waking up seeing him. I'll never see him again. The world lost a very great person, not just me. In Coconut Grove, Sharon Melton, 7 News. The families of crash victims seek justice following the death of R&B singer Aaliyah. When R&B singer Aaliyah was killed in a plane crash, eight other people died along with her. And now the families of those victims, including a 15-year-old South Florida boy, are suing. His story is next. R&B singer Aaliyah died in a plane crash, but she's left music and a starring role in a new movie behind. And now, a South Florida boy whose father died alongside Aaliyah wants someone to pay for his loss. Reporter Rand Berkey is here with more. Dwight, a lawsuit was filed today by the 15-year-old son of Aaliyah's bodyguard. And the boy says the death of his father and the others was just simply wrong and never had to happen. I lost my best friend in the world. 15-year-old Lyle Gallen struggled for the words to describe the loss of his father. Bodyguard Scott Gallen was killed in the same plane crash that claimed the life of the up-and-coming R&B singer, Aaliyah. The singer and eight others with her died when their charter plane crashed trying to take off from an airport in the Bahamas last August. The singer had been shooting a music video, and the group was returning to Opawaka Airport when it went down. Investigators later determined the plane was overloaded with equipment. It's our position that this was a totally avoidable accident. Attorney Stuart Grossman represents Lyle Gallen. Their lawsuit names the charter company and Aaliyah's record company, Virgin Entertainment and Virgin Records. This is not a pleasure trip. This wasn't a good time. It was a business trip designed to do a video to make music, sell records, to profit Virgin. Virgin, Virgin, Virgin. It's really, really hard. I just hate waking up seeing him. I'll never see him again. While nothing can replace a boy's father, if a jury finds Virgin in any way responsible for the death, the company could face a substantial financial payout. Uh, we're going to be asking for a portion of the company in a punitive damage claim because we think this is outrageous. And we were unable to reach anyone from Virgin Records to comment on the lawsuit. Kelly? Sure. Another lawsuit was filed today, this one in the death of the bodyguard who protected R&B star Aaliyah. 
Alan Gallen was aboard the plane with Aaliyah when her plane crashed in the Bahamas last August. She was on the island to shoot a music video. Investigators say the plane was overloaded by 700 pounds. Gallen's son says he still can't believe his father is gone. I lost my best friend in the world. My father, we did everything together. The family of Gallen's uh, feels a number of parties are responsible for that crash, including Aaliyah's recording label Virgin Records, who handled arrangements for the shoot in the Bahamas. The family of the bodyguard for R&B singer Aaliyah is suing Virgin Records and a charter airline. Aaliyah, Scott Gallon, and six others died when their plane crashed in the Bahamas last year. The Gallon family attorney says the deaths could have been avoided. Gallon's son says he can't help thinking about his father. I'm, I lost my best friend in the world. I just hate waking up seeing him. I'll never see him again. The family's lawyer says the pilot was unqualified and unauthorized to fly a cargo plane. Familiares de un guardaespaldas a la cantante Alía, que murió en un accidente aéreo junto al artista, están demandando a la compañía de discos de la intérprete. Según ellos, hubo negligencia ya que el avión cargaba 700 libras más de lo permitido. El accidente ocurrió en las Bahamas el pasado 25 de agosto. Murieron ocho personas. The first lawsuits are being filed in connection with the deadly plane crash that killed pop star Aaliyah. Today in Miami, the family of Scott Allen Gallen filed a wrongful death suit. Gallen was a bodyguard on the fateful trip to the Bahamas where Aaliyah went to shoot a video. The charter flight was on its way to Opelaka when it went down last summer. It's believed the plane may have been overloaded. Gallen's son says he still can't believe his father's gone. Basically, I mean, I'm, I lost my best friend in the world my father and uh, I don't I can't explain it. The lawyer representing the Gallon family says several parties are named in the lawsuit but holds Aaliyah's record company most responsible. Now the families of two hairstylists who died in the crash have also filed wrongful death lawsuits in Los Angeles. The family of the bodyguard of singer Aaliyah is suing Virgin Records and a charter airline. Aaliyah, Scott Galen, and six others were killed when their plane went down in the Bahamas last year. The family attorney says the deaths could have been avoided. Galen's son says he cannot stop thinking about his father. I'm, I lost my best friend in the world. I just hate waking up seeing him. I'll never see him again. The family's lawyer says the pilots were unqualified and unauthorized to fly a cargo plane.